Eight lies narcissists want you to believe. Narcissists are pathological liars. They will lie about anything and everything. You will experience situations with a narcissist where you know they are lying to you. But narcissists cannot be a direct or upfront with you. They cannot be honest. They will deny any faults that they have made. They will shift the blame onto you or someone else. They will gaslight you. People lie because they're afraid to be honest. They're afraid of the consequences of being honest. So they create a false narrative, but it's all based on their fear. At some point they came to the conclusion that this is a cold, harsh world where people might ruin them, express disapproval or reject them. So they compensated for their fears by creating a false self. When they do this, they start believing things that are not true. And they also expect you to believe these lies. When you are involved with a narcissist, it can be difficult to tell what is true or not true. So I have found eight lies that the narcissist wants you to believe to help you identify what is not true. One, I am superior to you. In a healthy relationship where both people have strong self-esteem, they will desire equality in the relationship, but narcissists cannot be equal to you. They're very insecure. They're afraid of vulnerability. So they have to see it as though if there's a problem here, it can't be anything to do with them. In their minds, they're better than you. So there has to be something wrong with you. But really, they're just lying to you and they're lying to themselves. They just want you to believe it because it's more favorable for them. It makes them feel powerful. Two, I have power over you. They want you to believe that they should have influence and authority over you. They want you to give your power to them so that you then lose the ability to make decisions. They cannot allow you to make your own decisions because they feel like that takes something away from them. They need to be able to write the narrative so that they can be 10 steps ahead of you. They need you to think the way they do. In their minds, they know more than you do. They are the bearers of truth. Whatever they think or feel is correct. 
So they think that they should be the ones to make all of the decisions. Free. You need me. They will invalidate everything good about you. They will make you feel like you're not good enough for anyone or anything. Because that is how they keep you under their influence and authority. It's another strategy. Based on their fear. That they use to control you. Whenever you achieve anything, they will always take credit for your success. They will always act like you couldn't have done it without them, or your life would be so much worse without them. Because they're very insecure, and deep down they know that they need you more than you need them. They know that you would be better off without them. Which is why they have to invalidate you and make you believe that you're not good enough on your own. They have to make you believe that you need them or that your life would be so much worse if they were to leave. Four, you are responsible for me. The narcissist wants you to believe that they are your responsibility. As though it is your duty to help or take care of them. As though you have to prop up their ego and make them feel important. You are their narcissistic supply. So they expect you to provide them with privileges and special treatment. When you are in a relationship with a narcissist, they will constantly remind you that you need to do things for them. They will make all kinds of demands. Because they need you to prop up their ego. They need you to make them feel special and important. To keep them in the superior position so that they can feel like they are better than other people. Five. It's your fault. Whenever there's a problem, the narcissist will always blame you. They want you to believe that everything is your fault, that you are the cause of everything that goes wrong. Whenever there's a difficulty, they will immediately blame you. They will assume that it's because of something you have done. They're never going to think that it's something they've done because they have to maintain their superior position. They need to have influence and authority over you. So if there's a problem, it's always going to be your fault. Six. You are the cause of my anger or unhappiness. The narcissist will always play the victim role. They will act like you've done something to them, which has caused them to feel a certain way. They're never going to realize that maybe they're miserable because of their unrealistic expectations, because their life is built in a false narrative, or because they lack awareness and emotional stability. No. 
they can't see it that way. There has to be something wrong with you. Seven. You owe me. Whenever a narcissist does something kind or helpful for you, it's manipulation. They will do something for you or act friendly towards you only because they are expecting something in return. They want you to do something for them. They want you to make their lives better. They see it as though you owe them something. They expect you to see it as a privilege to even be around them. They want you to think that anything good in your life is because of them. As though your life would be very difficult without them. So now you owe them. Eight. Your opinions are insignificant. Whenever you engage in a conversation with a narcissist, they will always shut you down. They will always invalidate anything that you have to say. Whenever you try to share your point of view, they will only give you a list of reasons of why they think you're wrong. They're never going to listen to what you have to say or take your opinions into consideration. They want you to think that your opinions are irrelevant. But that's just another lie that they want you to believe. It doesn't have to be true for you. The narcissist will try to make you believe these eight lies. They will try to get you to fix things for them. But really, they don't want you to fix anything. They want you to believe that the problem exists and then try to fix it. But they also want the problem to remain so that they can feel like it's you and not them. Narcissists lack self-awareness. They do not want to be accountable for their actions. They don't want to hear anything that conflicts with their false narrative. So when you do choose to engage with a narcissist, have a very low expectation. You cannot be affectionate or intimate with them. You cannot collaborate with them unless you just do everything their way. So manage your expectations with them. And try not to spend too much time around them. Spend time around people who understand you. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.